Welcome in. It is day 220, and you're speaking to the Meeples Champion. And today we're going to be jumping into a smaller game. This is a party game, and it was one that my sister let me borrow that we tried out earlier this year. Well, late last year, I should say. The game is called Happy Salmon. So this game is fast. You are done with this game really quick. It's under five minutes. And it's up to how you want to play, whether you want to do points, if you want to do elimination, if you are you're looking for rounds, if you're just looking for one game and you're done and you see who, who the winners or the losers are. The concept of the game is that you get all the players, each of them gets their own deck of 12 cards, of which there are four different symbols. You have the high five, you have the fish bump, you have the switch it up, which means you have to flip places with somebody, and you have the happy salmon, which is a a weird way you have to do the salmon high, uh, high five. So you shuffle your decks up, and then you draw the top card from your deck, and you all have to start yelling out what you have and find somebody to team up with and do the action. When you do, the card gets discarded, and you move to the next card. Whoever gets through their deck first would win. Or if you're doing elimination, whoever's the one that's last to go, or the likelihood would be that means two people last to go, are eliminated. And you can decide how you want to play the game overall, whether you want to do this in points, or you want to do winner or wins, or you want to do, you know, people get knocked out in duos, and then the last duo, you know, when you're, or the last four you get to, the winner wins, or something like that. But the game plays at a pretty good size of, of people. It's, it's a fun little game. It's nothing I would go crazy to add to my collection, but I'm happy that my sister has it. Why don't we jump in, talk our seven categories, though, and see where this one actually lands for us. <laughs> When it comes to the art, it's a basic game. So this is not one that's meant to grab your eye by the box or that's meant to grab your eye by the cards. It is in the party game section at most game stores. It's not something that's really intended for that way. You know, it's got some different colors. It might attract your eye because it stands out, but not because it stands out in a massively po positive way. I don't think the art's great. It's gotta be a thumbs down. Components. The components are only cards, and they're fine. I don't think that they're bad. You know, on like that one to five scale, they're probably a, a rough four. Uh, they're, they're a good shape card. They're not going to easily wear or tear. That's the point. The game's meant to be played so quick. They don't want a cheap card because that would accidentally tear as you're running around, you know, trying to get this done. So I think the components are good. Thumbs up. Your price. So this game's in that 15, maybe 20, but more likely $15 range. You're going to find it at your Targets, at your Barnes & Noble, maybe even at your Walmarts, probably even at your, your Newberry Comics. And it's definitely going to be found at least in two out of five board game stores. If they have a party game or a smaller game section, you're going to find this. And I think for its price, it's perfectly acceptable. It's meant for a fun, you know, friends or family gathering. It's not a game night game. It's a party game. So I think the price is good for what you're getting. Thumbs up. Your difficulty. So this is perfectly fine for kids and for beginners. But I think when you get to those experienced and experts, they're not interested in this as a regular game. That being said, if you're an experienced or expert player who gets big collections like myself, or even a tenth of my collection, you can still enjoy a game night with family or friends at a party-like atmosphere. And I think this one's fast enough that you wouldn't be against trying it. So I think the difficulty, well, it leans for those beginners and kids, is acceptable because of the atmosphere it surrounds. I'll give it a thumbs up. Replayability. The game plays fast. So the likeliness is, is that when you have a party, to get a game out of the party can be tough. Unless everybody's there as a gamer, you're not usually doing a guaranteed game night at a party night. But a game like this that can play at a pretty good size count and who allows the opportunity to say, hey, it's easy to learn. I'll teach you in under a minute and the game will take under five. That's, that's a game that you can get out at a party night. So I think that the replayability is there. I'll give it a thumbs up. Keys to victory. I mean, there's four. The four different things you're doing. You're not really thinking about 
who should I team up with? Like people aren't thinking that way. Keys to victory tends to be, in my opinion, about the thinking process. And a game like this moves so quickly that if you're the one trying to think, you're the one that's going to lose. You need to be fast and just be dodging around and looking for the first person who says, I can high five, I can high five and get the high five in. So for me, there are no keys to victory here. Thumbs down. Unique. Is the game unique? I would compare this game to Pit, a game with cards that are dealt out that you're yelling out the name of the card you have to, in this game, team them up, in that game, trade them, but the same concept, working together and then getting to the end of the round. I don't think this is a unique game. I think that it's a fun game and it definitely is one that maybe that'll hit different people than Pit did, but in general, it's got to be a thumbs down. Overall, what do I think? I think this is a great game if you're a party gamer to throw into your collection. You don't even have to try it. And if you're a regular gamer, but you enjoy a good party game, I wouldn't be against you adding it either. But if you're not big into party games, steer clear. It's not meant for anything but a party atmosphere. So for me, this is not one that I would ever put in my collection, but I'm happy that my sister has it because when we do get family get togethers going on, it's nice to have somebody who does collect the party type games to allow a game like this to get to the table because I wouldn't want it to camp it in my shelf space. Well, it has been day 220. And we've been speaking about the game Happy Salmon. And you've been speaking to the Meeples Champion. Like, share, subscribe, and check down below in the description or I'll be adding in an Amazon link in case you want to get this game for your collection. Until next time, I'll talk to you tomorrow.